So I figured it out. I don't know why it took me so damn long to figure this shit out, but you can say for 10 minutes a day, the ideal reality that you want, right? You can say it. And then you can really feel it too. You can feel it when you speak it. Like I'm abundant, I'm rich. Like I, I get everything I want. I'm literally that bad bitch. I get everything I want. But after 10 minutes is up, you go back into the same shit reality that you were in before. And then you're like, well, it's wishful thinking. I wish life were that good. Like, what the fuck? Like, I do this. I do this. And it's so embarrassing. I hate to say it, but I do. I do this really. I do all the time. I'm like, okay, so it's like 10 minutes of good affirming, right? And I feel like, I feel like a bad bitch. I get exactly what I want. And then, you know, on the 11th minute mark, I'm like, oh man, why did my life suck so bad? <laughs> so like, okay. Okay, so I had an out-of-body experience 11 years ago, right? And it was the best 30 seconds of my life. And, well, it was rivaled up there on my wedding night. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, anyway. Anyway, um, so the, the out-of-body experience I had 11 years ago, I was in a different plane of existence. I literally left my body and went somewhere else. And I danced with a being of light. So there was a being of white light that was pure unconditional love and I was dancing with this being, right? It took me 11 freaking years, 11 years to realize that that frequency exists. That heaven exists. That nirvana is real. It's just that I kept looking at the 3D physical ra reality as more real. I thought that the shit I was living in was more real than that place that I visited for 30 seconds. And so it's, it's like, I kept telling everybody for 11 years, like, I got kicked out of heaven. It was, like, beautiful, and it was gorgeous, and it was amazing. And then, you know, I came back to Earth. Like, that's what I started doing. For 11 years, I didn't even know that it was real. I thought it was, I don't know, like, you know, when you, when you die. I thought that that's, I thought you only get to go there when you're dead or when you're in that state of whatever I was in, alpha or something. I didn't think I could ever get back there ever. So I, I was angry. I was mad. And the 3d world kept showing me the opposite of what I knew to be real, right? I knew God was real, but then I looked at everything else and I'm like, what is this shit then? And because I didn't understand the law, I didn't understand the law of assumption in the state of, of like what it is. It's a frequency. I couldn't get back there until I realized today, dude, you can give yourself permission to go back there. You, all you have to do is be deluded enough to just constantly think like, oh my God, my life is so good. I get everything I want. Heaven is real. My life is literally perfect. I am literally the luckiest person on earth. I get everything I want. Good things happen to me all the time. You have to stay in that, in that frequency. You have to stay in that, that knowing that it's real. And I didn't. I let every Tom, Dick, and Harry tell me, oh wow, you're just, there's something wrong with you. You're insane. Which, well, which, yeah, they, they called me a bitch and a witch. But yeah, they would be like, oh wow, you're so insane. Like... Oh, so you saw this being of light, right? You saw Satan and all this shit. And then, because I didn't know what I was doing, I didn't know what the 3D was. It's a reflection. It's a mirror. It's a projection screen. It is literally a movie. It's, you can't go up to the mirror and put lipstick on the mirror and, and expect your lips to change color. You, that's not how it works. So I didn't know that I was allowed to stay that fucking delusional and say stuff all the time. Like, wow, my life is so perfect. Is it everything amazing? I could have saved myself 11 years of torment had I just believed the reality I went to existed. I didn't really think it existed. I would tell people about it, but I'm like, oh yeah, it'd be so great. You know, heaven, ooh, and we're dead. It's gonna be fun, yoo-hoo. But now lately I've been telling people like, bro, Heaven is within you. I got there because I went within. I sat my ass down. I meditated. And I went within and I found that nirvana. I found that heaven on earth. Right? But then I spent 11 years trying to convince others of heaven on earth. And like, bitch, I didn't even believe it myself. So how was I going to go and preach happiness, joy, God, love, if I wasn't even in that, in that energy? Right? So, so many people... I, I know they come from a good place. They just don't want people in pain. They don't want people to hurt. But when you guys come at people saying stuff like, oh, well, you're going to hell because you believe in this and you're going to hell because you... Like, you don't fucking know anything. 
<laughs> like, like, unless you're in heaven, in a heavenly nirvana, I'd say 95% of the day, why don't you shut the fuck up? Okay? Why don't you stop telling people about how to find God and happiness and love unless you have found God, happiness and love. Okay? Like, let's just, let's just cool it on that. Condemning people to hell when it's, like, who are you? Who are you to condemn anybody to hell? Like, bro, wake up. Wake up. Don't you realize people are already in hell? And the reason people are in hell is because they look around at the 3D matrix. They look around at this reflection. It's a, it's a fucking movie screen. And we think this shit is real. This shit isn't real. This shit is the fucking illusion. What's real is your imagination. That is real. But because we think about something great happening for 10 minutes, and then after the 10th minute, we're like, oh, well must be nice. I, I wish, I wish. We don't buy into the fact that that was real. What we saw for 10 minutes, you, you winning the lottery, that was real. If you would have stayed in that, if you would have stayed believing it already happened, it would have happened. The 3D would catch up with that shit, but you have to stay there. And so I'm yelling at myself, really. I'm not yelling at anybody else. I'm yelling at me because it's like, if I would have stayed in that frequency of love, right? If I would have stayed and been that delusional, but what I couldn't be, I couldn't be because there was like people around me and I, I, I didn't understand what it was, what this was. So I went through my rude awakening before anybody else did. And it was shit. Okay. 11 years of shit. And I don't want to ever have anybody go through that. And, and I guess, I guess what I'm trying to say, I'm trying to like convince my damn self really that if you want to stay in that frequency of Nirvana, you want that heaven on earth totally cool. It's, it's your prerogative. You're allowed to have it, but you're going to have to be that one that believes some crazy shit before other people, because you're going to have to stay. And then because like, I'm the luckiest person on earth. Honestly, I am so lucky. I'm so rich. I'm so rich. Money comes to me so easily. Like it is so easy. Oh, I love it. Ahead of me, there's this, uh, license or this, um, this little sticker. Come on, bro. What's going on? Let's move it along. I do like him though. He, he it says go flames, go flames. Oh, I don't, oh, never mind. He's talking to an old lady. Okay. I see now. All right. Well, now I feel like a total dick bag. Anyway, it, it says go flames, which, you know, until right now I felt like an okay, decent person <laughs> enough to, okay, go on, go on, dude, go, go. Yeah. I'm at the grocery store and I am the luckiest person alive. I am. I literally am. Cause I'm getting like a, a front, a front parking space because I pulled up just in the nick of time. It's amazing. It's amazing. So if you can stay that delusional, yeah. But how many of us stay that delusional? Like we have, we have family and friends around us, right? And like their thing, their thing is, oh, well, honey, I think you might be a little, you know, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I think there's something going on. Maybe we should get you some meds. Yeah. And, and that was one of the things that freaked me out, especially, especially with what I saw, like telling people what I saw that's a lot different than just being like, Oh, I'm going to win the lottery one day, mom. It's going to happen. I, I have faith. It's a lot different when you have to go tell every single person, you know, that you met God face to face. Okay. Like going to tell people for 11 years, that experience caused me so much trauma. It, it just, I wish that I would have known about the law of assumption. If I would have stayed in that frequency, if I would have stayed there, I would have been a lot better off, but I didn't, I didn't know it was real. I got sucked into the 3D matrix. I got sucked into thinking this shit, this shit, it's an illusion. It's, it's, it's what you have been thinking and believing and speaking for two to three days, two to three weeks, two to three months. Like this shit is old news. And I didn't know it until now. It took 11 years for me to realize it was old news and you, I can change it now. I can change it now by speaking life, um, by speaking more abundantly saying things like it's honestly my life is so good I'm so rich guys money comes to me quickly and easily all the time doesn't even take very long I can manifest money in them just like that just like that you're you're always manifesting instantly this is another thing too you're always manifesting instantly if you think of a, a, a vanilla cake right now like think of a white cake in your mind right now you just manifested a white cake your imagination is literally instant but most people are like yeah but it's not here in the physical Okay, that right there is the fucking problem. We then go back to, oh, well, there's no cake. There's no cake. <laughs> Bitch, there's either a cake or there isn't a cake. You can't to serve two masters. Is there a cake or is there not a cake? And if we don't start being delusional enough to say, no, like there's the cake. I see it. I smell it. 
Um, I see it with this little pink sprinkles. I see it. I see the cake. I see the cake. I see the cake. Right? Right? You go, you're going to keep manifesting um, in the 4D until it shows up in the 3D. So I hate to say it. I hate to say it, but you have to say that delusional first to see shit in the 4D other people don't see. Right? And so you're instantly manifesting all the time. But because people don't see it in the 3D, it, instantly, they're like, well, I don't, I don't instantly manifest. Um... That's the problem. That's the problem. We say shit exists, and then two seconds later, we're like, oh, well, it must be nice. I, I saw it there for a second, but yeah, it, it doesn't instantly manifest. It would if you'd fucking persist. It would if you'd keep consistently saying, there it is, there it is, I see it, I see it, I see it. I see, I see, a, um, I see a white cake. Actually, no, I see a white guy staring at me right next to me, and he's kind of adorable his little beard anyway I don't see a white cake right but if you say it out loud I don't see it yet I don't see it yet you're seeing the absence of it and if I if I would have stayed for 11 years believing that heaven existed and if I would have stayed in that frequency no matter what even if people were calling me insane in the membrane if I would have stayed there I would have been able to manifest that shit a hell of a lot faster that frequency of abundance, that frequency of joy, that frequency of love. I, I just got sucked in. I got sucked into the 3D and I thought that this, this, I thought was real. This is the illusion. <laughs> really? I know it sounds, it sounds like I'm Morpheus telling Neo, like, you are in the matrix. But you are. You really are. So anyway, I'm going to go get some groceries because I think that sounds amazing to be able to eat tonight. But yeah, guys. It is that easy. If we would just stay focused on that, we would manifest. And manifestation is instant. It's always instant. The second you see that white cake, it is there. It is there. That is instant manifestation. That's it. It's there. It's literally there. That's instant. Keep persisting in that it's it's there. Keep seeing it. Keep seeing it. Keep seeing it. It's going to manifest into the 3D. The less resistance you have to a white cake, the quicker it'll be here. In fact, I bet you anything, I'll go into this grocery store and find like a white cake, a w one slice of white cake. And I'll be like, yep, that's the one. That's it for me. Yeah, I'm going to buy, I think maybe a slice of white cake. Yes. But seriously, if you could just persist in it, persist in the knowing it's there, it's already in the 4D. You saw it. You saw it, which means it's real. You saw it. You saw that text from your SP, from your specific person, from your man, from your woman. You saw that text, right? You saw that approval letter. You saw it in your imagination. Now believe it's there. It's consistently there. All the time it's there. Just keep going back. Keep going back. Anytime you get into that state of, oh, I wish it were here. Nope. It's here. I saw it. I, it's here. I saw it. There it is. There it is. I have it now. I have it now. In order to get it into your 3D, you have to remain persistent in the visual. And if you can't visualize, that's cool too. You can just keep affirming for it. You can just keep speaking it. You don't have to actually visualize it, but you do have to believe it's there and it's already done. That was the whole point. If I would have done that 11 years ago, my life would have been so much different. I wouldn't have suffered so fucking much wondering, what is this? Why, why do I know heaven exists? A, a place with love and abundance and just happiness, right? But like, I'm stuck here. Like, what the actual fuck? But it's because I, I was thinking that this is real. And I was stuck in the theater screen. I was at the movie screen trying to change all the characters on the fucking screen. Like, hey, hey, I don't like you. Change you. Change, change. And nothing was happening because I had to go to the projector. I had to go to the projector and put in a new film role. And I wasn't doing that. So if I can save anybody agony for the next 11 years, please hear me on this. All you have to do, literally all you have to do, is just keep persisting. It's already there. That reality already exists. Okay? It already happened. You can rest now. Anytime you find your mind wandering elsewhere, bring it right back to, oh wait, no, it already happened. It already happened. I already got the text. There it is right there. I just saw it. Ding! In your mind. See it in your mind first and then watch it as you persist. And again, the more resistance you have, the longer, the more of a delay that it will show up in the 3D. But if you don't have any resistance to it at all, like I have zero resistance to white cake. White cake is everywhere, okay? There is zero resistance. It's not like it's hard to believe that I'll go to the grocery store in two minutes and find white cake. It is not that hard to believe. So there's zero resistance I have, which means probably tonight I will be eating white cake, right? 
But if I have resistance to like me running as president, it's probably going to take a little bit longer because I do not believe that shit. Right? I have so much more resistance that it's probably not going to happen and I don't really even want it. Right? So word to the wise, trust your visual. Your 4D is instant manifestation. This is instant. You're instantly manifesting every single time you see something. You got it. You got it. Just keep going. The, um, how fast and how powerfully you switch back to, oh, I don't have it. I don't have it to, oh, wait, no, I do. I do. It's there. It's there. The white cake is there. I know it. I smell it. I see it. I will I, oh, I can taste it. So good. The more quickly you can shift from it's not here to, oh, wait, no, it is. That's right. It's in my 40 already. It's in my imagination already. The quicker you can do that, the more often you do that, the faster it'll come in your 3D. You just need to stay persistent. So anyway, I don't know why I didn't notice that. For 11 years, it's all about persisting in that reality. It's not delusional. That shit is real. You see it there because it's real. Bring it into the 3D by consistently persisting, saying, there it is. There it is. Mm, that cake is so delicious. I love that. Oh my God. It's so good, guys. Best cake I've ever had in my life. Okay. But I couldn't do that for 11 years. I couldn't. I, what would I have done? i have gone up to people who, who were in the movie. They were on the projection screen and I was trying to tell them about the amazing realm, amazing reality that I found. Right. And no one would listen. I had to like shake them awake because I was not understanding that it's simply a projection. Right. So anyway, uh, love you guys with all my heart. I have got to go and buy some cake. I'll talk to you later. Bye.